Hello everyone, it's uh, Mekasan here with another Watch Mojo reaction video. If I sound a little, hmm, what's the word? Not, I'm not mad, people, but I'm very cynical about this one here. It's the top ten overpowered anime mechas. <clears throat> Watch Mojo vids concerning mechs have always been well just say well let's just say controversial and that's being nice for more on that check out their list their top 10 list on the uh, top 10 gundams gundams yeah just the gundams the mechs the gundam and also, my reaction to that list. So, yes, knowing all that, I'm quite curious here. Now, the thumbnail pretty much established that there is going to be Gundam here with the Gundam Unicorn. Understandable. We also have from the, from the uh, tab here, Evangelion. Fair enough. I mean, technically, it's, well, it's not a mech as we define it, but then again, what do we know about the angels here? Eh, I never really bothered to find out about them after Evangelion here. Not much of an interest, but mm, allocating some thought into them, they are more like a uh, Biological machines, really, like bio. Like, one could almost think of them the Titans from. Mm, from uh, Attack on Titan, with how the other. Yeah, I read up on Attack on Titan's backstory and everything like that. Something like that here, but. Or another example here for Star Wars fans, the like Yuzong Vong and how their technology and weapons all are. It's all biological. Machine. Like, literally. Organic machines here could so one could consider the angels like that. I but I won't say for sure here. Now other mechs that I know will be in, probably involved here, and this I learned because you know how you can in the recommendations you can just hold the mouse over the pick and it shows you like a quick little uh, clip like a few seconds of the video. Yeah, I saw Valve Rave in that. Now, Valve Rave is one where I fell out of, especially kind of like when it got a little icky there at some point. And when I read up on that, on the rest, it's like, okay. Not even Team Revolution as job on a theme song could make me come back. Oh boy, it's almost like the people in the Valve Rave world and the universe deserve the same treatment as the humans from Muvlove. And I do say almost. Because people of Muv the humans of Muvlove, they're irredeemable scumbags here. Ugh. But anyhow, um, let's take a look at this. I'm curious to see what we got. They don't come bigger and better than this bunch. Am I also, I will be pausing a lot here. Just to warn you guys, I will indeed be pausing a lot as I break down the mechs and everything like that. Actually, with Watch because Mojo I have to. The top 10 overpowered anime mecha. Yeah, let, me, wait, let me start it over here. And these are the top 10 overpowered anime mecha. For this list, okay. we'll be looking at the oh, giant yeah, die buster. Anime that tower above the rest. Mm. Keep in mind, we won't include Robo Girls like Nono from Die Buster or Sentinel. I'm hoping for that can't be piloted like Gridman. No oh. cockpit, no entry. Yeah, Gridman is much of a Tokusatsu. 
Uh, like Icky from Metapods? Uh, yeah, but Gridman's not even a robot here. He's that, that, to call Grid to qualify Gridman as a robot. You may as well also call Ultraman that. <sighs> but yeah, either way, um, I'm hoping uh Raiden from um the the 2009 reboot series here with he was golden is involved is listed here as well as rossifan that's that's an oldie if it's a my twitter at ash j bow and let me know what your favorite mecca is <laughs> number 10 valbrave one hito okay valbrave yeah, liberator You know, you're part of an elite club when in order to even tin on the damn robots, you need to be a vampire. After being transformed into a Magius, the Magus, pilot in yeah. question will find themselves given access to the Valbrave in full. With Hito in particular... And, yeah, that, that was the one that was still being, like, toys. birthed. Helmets, Whoa. swords, hammers, boomerangs, firearms, scythes, gauntlets, lasers... LL. All of which can be powered up yeah. thanks to its rave engine. Yeah, you guys needed to die. We you guys are evil. A that guy is an alien, right? himself around his female classmates thanks to the Magius conversion, but at the mm. very least, he got quite the death machine out of the deal. Mm -hmm. mm. Number nine, Strelizia, true Apis. Don't okay, stop right there. I'm gonna have to skip this one here because I have yet to see Darling the Franks. I want to see Darling the Franks. So, to avoid spoilers, I'm skipping this one here. Yes, I managed to avoid as much spoilers as possible. The only thing I know about Darling the Franks here is the amount of, like, sheer vitriol episode 14 has just spurred up. Now we got Evangelion, Evangelion unit. unit 01. Zero one. Neon Genesis Evangelion franchise. <laughs> Destroy the AT field. Included unit 13, given its potentially hmm. world saving power and the two man cooperation of Husbandos, Shinji Husbando. and Haru, we have to hand it to the poster mech of the whole Evangelion Yeah, universe. pretty much. Not only is O1 very, of very course. good when it comes to chomping up angels and splattering their heavenly guts I don't know, I probably would have... Of Tokyo, but Again, given, given like, what we see right here, like, it's so much organic, I... I don't know, I, th I think it would have been a safer bet to put this guy as an honorable mention because its status as an actual, like, mech... Yeah, I mean, it's a clone of... Lilith, which they got like crucified down there, but Tokyo, but it was a catalyst that caused the apocalypse. Yep, end of Evangelion with Shinji's adolescence combined with the Ava's world ending appetite. It's no wonder that they ended up uprooting civilization as they knew it. You told him to get in the robots, this is the result. Yeah, pretty much. I wish they they explained as to why it was they needed like fourteen year olds, because that's something that's something they mentioned in like the original the original like uh, anime broadcast here. Like it, the pilots need to be fourteen year old. It's like why exactly? You never you never fully explained that fact. Seven At least from what I know. Get a robo, get a robo, Armageddon. Hmm. Yeah, I've been meaning to watch this actually. Updated in every way imaginable, this third iteration of the classic yeah, you can like cleave has some entire planets. Firepower to its name, honoring the legacy of the other robos that have come before it by blowing the shit out of every enemy that crossed its path. Brutally too. 
absorbing gator rays like a sponge, <laughs> yes, this get a rays. is able to decimate entire fleets uh. by only exerting itself at half its potential. The constant stream of energy enabling it to cast a whole variety of blasts, beams, and bursts, each able to crush any enemy looking to try their luck. Stoner Sunrise. Stone. I'm sure they had different connotations in Japan. Number six, Gal, Gal Geiger. Okay, okay. Gal Geiger. Yeah, the one that pretty much revitalized the. Oh, Gal 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 Gal. Yeah, that's the one that kind of revitalized the whole if Super Robot by theme song craze alone, here. This guy would easily smash oh, the competition. Boy. Yeah. That being said, its capacity for destruction is Yeah, the guy because Super that. Robots were kind by of on, on the decline there. The but then this came out to like increase its size and strength to the point where it's broken and its sides are more than enough to shatter any Zondas that <sighs> tries to threaten the planet. I watched planet. Yeah, I got the original uh, like brought like English dub English on DVDs Honestly, the only good thing more powerful than a punch from this mecha is guy's fabulous hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number five, turn, turn a, a Gundam. Gundam. Turn a Gundam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No light butterfly wins the match, or the Devil Gundam is a so they say. monster of a mecha, it still can't compare to the white doll. Yeah. Sure, the Turn A Gundam doesn't have the best design, best pilot, yeah. or even the best backstory, but in terms of shit. Yeah, I mean, I heard that one of the reasons it looks like this is because it had a, because of, they actually hired some a Western animator to help design it. Okay, I gotta admit. The body wise, I like it, but the head design, yeah, that, I, can't, I can't get over that. It's like, what, why the hell did it have the fuck? No, it should be in the, right here. In fact, redesign, like, you know what? Yes, please just keep the turn A look the same. Simply redesign the head. That's all you gotta do. Well, that, that's it. That's it. But yeah, Moonlight Butterfly wins the match. So you, you gotta wonder though. I don't know. It's like the nano machines. How would those nano machines stand up to the DG cells? I don't know. And else, and Build Fighter show that Moonlight Butterfly does not always win the match. <laughs> oh yeah, Build Fighter. Yeah. It destructive potential. There's no topping it. <laughs> Outside of its unusual capacity to smash other mobile suits, the Turn A has incredible regeneration, not to yeah, mention machine. all technology in its tracks. Nanotech. Which, of course, when you're in a Gundam series, is a pretty handy talent. Of course, when all else fails, it can always live up to its moniker and unleash the oh, moonlight butterfly. butterfly. Number four, Gunbuster. Okay, Gun yes. Dun, 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 dun. When it comes to blowing aliens right out of the sky, nothing does it better than this. A combination of Buster Machines 1 and 2, the Gunbuster serves as humanity's ultimate trump card. While it can save yet. Noniko and Kazumi from the time-altering effect of space, it can decimate a fleet of space monsters like they're nothing. Super lightning kick! Super lightning kick! Get so 90s! Oh, with beautiful. two degeneracy beautiful. generators in tow, along with an arsenal of missiles and lasers, it's no wonder uh, the gun okay, buster okay. managed to save the planet mm, and likely nice. kick any extraterrestrial threat to the curb. <laughs> Number three, Ideon. ID Space Runaway Ideon series. Ideon, Ideon. Yeah, I think it's about both ways. But yeah, I think destroy the universe. 
may not look like anything too special, but the power on this thing the is God staggering. Gym. The sole protector of the Solo ship, the Ideon is a force of nature and the buff clan's worst nightmare. Forget about yeah, the, the standard fare like missile ports and energy barriers, even though it does have those in yep. abundance, the Ideon is packing the heavy shit. A mini black hole cannon, which kind of speaks for itself. The that, Ideon yeah. sword, which might just be powerful mm -hmm. enough to slice up an entire world. Oh, that's big. It can slice up, it can slice, it can slice up a star. Most, I mean, yeah, come on. It can destroy the universe, so, that, so that's cannon, nothing. Which could casually melt an entire solar system. Of course, in case it ever wanted to kill everything in the universe, it, does. it has its infamous self-destruct mechanism. Boom. That's when Number two, Tomino was in Kill Him. Oh, Demon wow! Bane. Demon Bane! Oh. You know, that was actually one of the first... Uh, for CGI mech series I've seen very early one and I think I only got up to episode 5 or 6 at the time at the time there wow but yeah the, the demon bait here wow, that really reminds me I gotta get back to Jesus, there are so many mech series where I started but never completed back in like the early 2000s when I was still in school and college and stuff like that. Because why settle for a random robot when you can have a mecha that's essentially the love child of a death machine and they love crappy and god. Yeah, that's pretty much. Demon Bane. And he doesn't take prisoners. Yeah, and she's a Grimorum. The key word here like, is infinite, because this guy doesn't do anything by half measures. <laughs> While overexerting itself does reduce it to a husk, that doesn't really matter when it can manipulate time and space to its will, burning apart anything mm -hmm. it fancies with an infinite amount of homing blasts. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this thing makes quantum and causality its bitch. Yep, exactly. Like, all that stuff, like, phew, conquer it. Not quite at the end yet. Almost there, though. All right. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. All right, back to business. Number one, Super Tengen Topper Guren Lagan. Mm. Guren Lagan, the movie, the lights in the sky are stars. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, that, that had to be involved. Guess bigger really does mean better. While Team Dai Guren's combined strength managed to forge the strongest mecha in existence, mm. one that quite literally mm. towered over entire galaxies, yep. and it proved to be more than a match for a universe. Although I'm pretty, yeah, they're, they're bigger actually. Dai, you can always have one last. I'm pretty sure they're a lot bigger. If I remember right, yeah, the they are. Of omnipotence. <laughs> Its size is so astronomical, it takes up 57% of the observable universe. Its power cannot be comprehended, and its giga drill break probably packs more of a punch than the Big Bang. And mm -hmm. just to top things off, it resembles Kamina. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah, it's. Kamina is what they, they all think is like bone burst to the future. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this <laughs> other recent clip. Oh boy. So overall, I think it's a good one here. I mean, uh, uh or at least passable. Some I forgot entirely. Like I, I am I am kind of upset there was no honorable mention at all. It's like, what the hell? Come on, there there were so many honorable mentions you could you could have said. Like I, I said, Rossifon, Raiden, come on. Come on, there are plenty more here. But yeah. Okay, I'm I'm pleased. I I'm overall pleased. And I thank Watch Mojo for reminding me of some of the shows I've got to resume watching. In fact I gotta like restart watching it because it's been so long. Demon I mean Demon's Bane for crying out loud, Jesus. Valve I don't know about Valve Rave here, but uh yeah, Darling the Frax. I have I got a video coming out 
about an update for my channel, and that is mentioned, Darling the Frax, so yeah. Ugh, boy. Get a get a robo? Yeah, gal, 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 gal. I gotta, gotta resume that series. So many. So many. So oh boy. It's beautiful right there. It's it's a it's great. It's a great list. It's a great list here. Again, it I it's so yeah, it's a great list just because it reminded me of so much that I forgot. Needs an honorable mention section though. Come on. That's all I ask. <sighs> Yeah, well, so everyone, thank you for watching. As always, comment down below what you all thought. I know there are mechs that are, like, bigger than Tempatenga Goron Lagan right there. But I can't recall them. <sighs> Remind me in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe for more videos. Till the next one, this is Mechasan. See you. Oh, sorry. Like I was saying, uh, see you next time.